Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and Make3DComics.com and today I'm really excited to be reviewing the latest iteration of FilterForge. Version 7 has just come out. Stay tuned. Quick question for everyone. For those of you who use an image editor in conjunction with Daz Studio, I'm curious to know which image editor you use and why. Is it Photoshop? Is it Affinity Photo? Is it GIMP? Well, whatever you use, uh, let us know. Let me know in the comment section below. I, again, I'm just curious to get different perspectives and know what's out there. So before we begin, I need to start with two disclaimers. The first being that FilterForge version seven actually hasn't just come out. I'm not the first person to speak about it. Uh, it's been out for about two or three months approximately could be longer I'm not really sure but the software is new for me so I'm excited to tell you about it regardless the second disclaimer is that even though this video is not sponsored by FilterForge they did provide me with uh, this newest version of the software to demo and review for all of you so thanks to the good people over at FilterForge and with that let's get into the review so longtime viewers of this channel already know that FilterForge is one of the tools in my artistic arsenal. But for those of you who are new, I'll take a quick moment to explain what FilterForge is and what it can do for your artwork. FilterForge is a plugin for Photoshop and other popular image editing applications. And you'll see I'm on their website right now. Uh, you can go to filterforge.com to get all this information, but you know, I'll just do a quick explainer. So yes, it's a plugin for Photoshop and other popular image editing applications. I should note that it, uh, I should note that it can also be used as a standalone application as well. So you're not limited to Photoshop. Photoshop is just what I happen to use. FilterForge allows you to easily add creative effects, which they refer to as filters, to your images. So if I go to the gallery here, for instance, you can take a, um, a photograph that you've taken. Let's see if I can find a before and after. Uh, this one looks nice. So this is what it looks like after, and this was the original image. So you can take a photograph that you've um, taken and run it through FilterForge and turn it into a painting or turn it into a pencil sketch or, or whatever. And once you, once you purchase the software, you have access to all their filters for free. And I don't know how many filters there are, but there's, there's a lot, probably easily more than a thousand. Here's, here's a short list. Now I use FilterForge to create comic style line art from the renders that I make from Daz Studio. And I also use it to uh, create custom 3D textures. So sometimes when I, I get a model in Daz Studio, if I don't like the textures that have come with it, I'll create my own custom textures in FilterForge to customize that, that model. The reason, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I'm going to be reviewing the software from, uh, from my perspective. So this is not an all encompassing review of the software. I'm just going to review it in regards to how I, I use it. So it's, it's going to be very subjective, but it'll still be honest. Okay, so now that version 7 of the software has been released, there were a few key features that interested me. And I'll just click to the uh, FilterFort 7 page here. So I was really interested in this one. A uh, new sample cache architecture speeds up rendering. Rendering speed has always been a concern for many FilterForge users. FilterForge 7 brings in improvements to sample caching that can speed up lots of filters. So I'm glad this is uh, this is something that they paid attention to. This has been one of my critiques of the software in the past is that it takes a while to actually apply the filter that you want. Now that speed depends on, of course, the speed of your computer and which filter that you're using. The other one, instant component search, mappable, blah, 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 copy and paste. This looks interesting. So the ability to copy and paste from different applications. Uh, so that speed, that could speed up my workflow as well. So these other ones, I, I'm sure they're important, but they're, to be honest, they're not ones that, that I use. I guess if I was an author of filters, I would, these would take, I would take more of an interest in these ones. So what I'm going to look at, what I'm going to test is uh, the, the rendering speed and this copy and paste feature. I wanna see how well that works. And what I will do is, is I, I still have FilterForge 6 installed on my machine. I'll take an image and run it through FilterForge 6, and then I'll take the same image and run it through FilterForge 7, and we'll see if there is an improvement in speed. And then after that, I will test the copy and paste feature so you can see for yourself how that works. 
So the image that I've chosen, I, I actually have this one open already. Um, this is a character that I created in Daz Studio and I've opened it in Photoshop. Uh, and let's see here, image size, I'll just give you an idea of the resolution. So right now this is 3,500 pixels by 3,500 pixels at 96 pixels per inch. It's an RGB image. And what else was I going to say? My machine. So right now the specs on my machine, to be honest, I, I don't know. I know there's 16 gigs of RAM in here, but I forget the, the processor. I guess I could go and look it up, but I, I don't feel like doing that right now. So the, the idea is the, the specs on the, the machine are going to stay the same. And then that's how we'll test the speed. So I'm going to go to, let's duplicate this layer first. So con command C control J still used to being on a Mac. I'll go up to the filter menu. And as you can see, I have filter for six and seven installed. Let's go for filter for six. And here's the comic book uh, filter that I use. I use this line art one. I'll just change some settings here. So I'm not too concerned with how it looks. I'm going to do the same settings for the same image in Filter Forge 7. So I'm going to get a timer here. Uh, let's reset that. And I'll start this and hit Apply. Now let's bring up the timer again. And we'll see how long this takes. There's our progress bar. Okay, so we'll just let this run. Okay, so there we go. Um, I clicked the stop button a bit late, so I think it was two minutes and 35 seconds around there. So that's how long it took, two minutes and 35 seconds. And now let's try the same thing, but with Filter Forge 7. Whoops, let's close that. And let's go to, well, actually, let's reset the timer. So we're gonna reset the timer, come back to Photoshop, go to Filter, and this time choose Filter for seven. And let's open that. Check Filter for seven, server for updates, sure. No updates found. Uh, where's my comic book filter? Under creative. comic book filter and let's choose line art and I'll just dial the same settings in as before okay so let's start this and hit apply and we'll see how long this takes Okay, so there we go again. Again, I was a bit late on pressing the stop button, but uh, I think it was just under two minutes, uh, which is faster. So yeah, they're, they're not lying. That's definitely faster. Now, the amount of time it takes, I can't really decide for you if that's a good or a bad thing. It, it really depends on what you're doing. I guess if you're working on a lot of images quickly, it might be too long. But if you're only working on one image every now and then, it might be really quick. So you you decide for yourself and um, determine if that's a good enough time for you or not. As for me, it's a definite improvement in productivity. Typically how I work is while I'm rendering something in one program, I'm working in the other. So while Filter Forge is rendering, I'm in Daz Studio setting up my scene, or I'm in Photoshop uh, doing image compositing. And as I'm doing this, I'm realized I'm talking a lot, more than I expected. This, this video has gone on longer than I originally had expected it to. So the copy and paste feature that I said I was gonna look at in this video, I'm gonna save that for my next one, just to keep the time reasonable. I, I don't wanna bore you with too much stuff. All that being said, if you watch the video and you feel that Filter Forge is software that can help your own artistic workflow, I would ask that if you decide to purchase it, that you please use the affiliate link in the video description below or the one that appears in the video itself. Uh, when you click that link and make a purchase, I do get a commission, which helps towards creating new content. So take a look if you're interested. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to rendering cool images. And until next time, take care.
Peace.